for more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Protests demanding resignation of the president and his cabinet continue in Paraguay. Thousands of Paraguayans have been mobilizing since March 5th in different cities of the country in rejection of the national government's mishandling of the COVID-19 pandemic and the deepening of economic crisis and social inequality. On March 18th, several protests took place in various parts of the country against Congress's decision to reject the impeachment of the far-right president, Mario Abdes Benitez, Vice President Hugo Velasquez, and the rest of the cabinet in Paraguay. The police violently attacked the protests that took place in front of Congress headquarters with tear gas, pressurized water, and rubber bullets. At least 24 protesters were arrested on Thursday. During the confrontation, commercial establishments and vehicles were set on fire and destroyed. Social anger was unleashed after Congress voted on impeachment requested by the opposition Liberal Party due to the president's incompetence in handling the COVID-19 crisis. Protesters have been demonstrating for more than a week with violent clashes with the police. During the protests on March 5th, one Paraguayan citizen was killed and 20 people were injured. One of the injured protesters remains in an intensive care unit due to a serious injury to his left eye caused by a rubber bullet impact. The members of the Agrarian and Popular Movement, a grassroots organization bringing together peasants from seven departments of the country, also arrived in the capital to support the mobilizations of young Paraguayans and their demands. Under the banner of, quote, Paraguay is not for sale, it is to be defended, end quote, the MAP, the Paraguayan Peasant Movement, the National Coordination of Homeless People, the National Federation of Secondary Students, the Coordinator of University Students of the National University of Asuncion, among others, have organized roadblocks of major highways over the past couple of days. According to Teleso reports, the protests were called for by civil society organizations after a series of complaints were raised by the family members of COVID-19 patients that the country did not have essential medicine to treat them. These family members reported that they have had to spend large sums of money in order to ensure the survival of their loved ones. Several reports indicate that the public health system is on the verge of collapse and many are not able to receive the treatment that they need. This past week's denouncements over the mismanagement of the public health crisis by this government is not new. Since the start of the pandemic, organized sectors in Paraguay have been mobilizing against the ineffective measures taken to combat COVID-19 and against the deepening economic crisis in the country worsened by the pandemic. In the last 24 hours, Paraguay reported 2,605 new infections, the highest number reported in a single day since March 2020. The total report case in Paraguay reached up to 190,000. Due to the pressure and political opposition on the streets on March 6th, Health Minister Julio Mussolini announced his resignation. On March 10th, the president of the Social Welfare Institute, Andres Guetich, resigned amid a corruption scandal linked to the diversion of essential medicines. However, the protesters considered it insufficient and reiterated that their primary demand is the president and vice president's resignations.